Hey guys, it's Alex, and I'm back with another Twitch tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to be teaching you how to add a follow alert to your channel. Now, this was one of the things that I was really excited about when I learned how to do it, because it gives you the chance to customize um, your page almost, I think, as much as like a custom layout does. Because um, you get to play a custom sound, and it's just cool to see when people are following you. It really gets you pumped up, uh, especially for smaller channels. So here's what we're going to do. Um, first thing you need to do is go to this website here. It is nightdev.com slash follow alert and I'll put a link in the description box. Um, so you need to go here and first thing you want to click is just install for OBS. Okay, uh, All my tutorials are for OBS. I know that there's other ways to do it for like you know XSplit or whatever else you use but this one's for OBS only. Um, so once you get here they want you to click this and download a package. Okay. Um, it's going to come in a zipped up format and what it's going to be is this right here. You'll get this folder once you unzip it. When you open it up it's got a bunch of files and it has install.bat. Um, you can click the readme if you want to. All it tells you to do is just double click install. Um, it'll do everything for you. You may need to restart your computer afterwards. Um, but just double click install and what it's going to do is add an extra source to OBS for you. So if it installed correctly um, go ahead and right click and go to add and it'll say CLR browser right here. Okay, um, That is not usually in your OBS, it's only added once you install uh, this little add-on here. Okay, So what you're going to do after you install it, you're not done. You have to go back to nightdev.com uh, and just click next on here. If you do have any trouble installing it, you can just click this video right here. They have a, a pretty good tutorial on how to install uh, just the the dot, dot bat okay um, next thing you want to do is you want to come to this screen it's not going to look like this it's going to be um, like blank and kind of generic looking but this is where you want to enter your channel name so uh, I put mine in here life and pixels let's go ahead and um, it's probably a good idea to keep it case sensitive I don't know if it's actually a problem but just go ahead and do that and then what you have here are a couple alert styles so this is going to be what pops up when you uh, get a follower. And so you can see you can change the color here, whatever you want to do. Um, let's go with this color, why not? And uh, you can change the style to flat or stacked, and it shows you exactly what those look like. Um, so if you want to customize it a little bit more than just choosing a color, which I did, um, you can go ahead and do this use my own. And so I just made a really simple image you can see here. Um, that just says new follower and then it'll have they automatically put the text in and that's why you have text centered or text left or text right you can see um, so it looks pretty cool uh, I personally liked it I just wanted to change something because I didn't want the same follower alert that everybody else had so I'm sure you can find an image online to add it to or whatever you want but anyway um, you want to do that okay um, next thing you want to do is add a sound so it doesn't take just any sound file. You can't use an M MP3 or anything like that. Down here, what it says is sound must be in OGG format. Okay, you can convert to OGG. You just need to click this right here, and it'll take you to a website. Um, alerts last for 10 seconds, so clip your sounds appropriately. Um, I think it's personally annoying if you have a 10-second sound every time someone follows. But if that's what floats your boat, then go for it. You know, make the stream your own. So go ahead and uh, on sound, you want to choose the file. Mine happens to be, let's see, Twitch, and it's right here. So, like, I use, what do I use here? I use this one as my follower sound. Uh, it's just a, a Mario sound. You can see it's the .ogg. Um, I did have to convert it, so you might have to do that. It's really quick and easy. Anyway, once you get those uh, specifics down, just hit Next, and here's what it's going to do. It's going to create a link that's specific to your channel, okay? So um, control A and copy it all and then control C and you're going to want to come back to your uh, OBS, right click, add, CLR browser right here. Okay, I, I just named this follow alert because it's easy that way. Okay, and then it's asking for the URL. This is where you paste that URL that they just gave you. You can see it's the whole thing in there. Okay, and then if you check back, um, so let's just click OK for a second. And if you check back here, it tells you, after entering the URL, change the width and height in the scene settings to 580 width and 110 height. Okay? So let's go back and do that. So right-click our follower alert, properties, 580 width, 
and 110 height. Okay, just like that. Click OK. You don't have to check anything else. Just click OK right there. And then uh, what it's letting you know also, I'll show you here. It says uh, you can test what, the, what it will look like by adding and preview equals true onto the end of the URL. So um, if you like follow and unfollow your channel, you won't get an alert. But if you do it this way, and I'll show you how it looks. If you do it this way, you'll be able to um, simulate somebody following you. So you just come to the end of your URL, come all the way down here, and just add and preview equals true. Hit OK. And if you did it correctly, you'll see there the uh, follower comes up on the screen and you'll hear your little sound. So uh, you can move it around by clicking edit scene, put it wherever you want. I have mine usually like in the middle top of my stream somewhere. And you can actually get this centered by right clicking, going to position and go center horizontally. And now it's in the exact center of the screen. And you can move it up and down before you do that or whatever you want to do. And so once again, just go to properties and then you have this and if you um, if you know that it looks good and that it works, just go ahead and delete that. But if you want to practice it again, it's just and preview equals true. Hit OK. And you'll see it'll pop up just where you wanted it, and you hear your sound, and you're pretty much done from there. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and delete that little add-on from here. Delete that there. Uh, we're done editing the scene, so it's going to go away until someone follows. And then let's just make sure that we're done here. Click Next. And yeah, that's for CSS tab. Don't even worry about that. If it worked for you, you're done. That's it. Close. Now you know how to add a follower alert to your stream. Um, have fun with it. It's really cool to do. You can make people laugh, and it just like makes it a fun time for everybody. Um, that's the last tutorial for now. I'll make a few more. Maybe tomorrow we'll see how it goes. Um, but thank you guys for watching and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you need. Hopefully these videos are helping you out. If you have any more questions that I haven't covered, feel free to leave them in the comment section and uh, I'll make some tutorials on those um, as I get requests, okay? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.